the late 20s, early 30s Carbon Arc Spotlight. These are what they used to use in the movie industry to actually film for early television shows and television movies and things like that. What they did with these was after they would shoot the movie and they were going to do the premiere, the studio people would drag these things down to the location wherever the theater or premiere was going to be, set them up out front, aim them straight up in the air, and turn them on and use them as searchlights. They kind of pulled double duty. They originally were done with carbon arc, which is basically like an arc welder in a can. So for safety reasons and health reasons and smoke and noise and everything like that, we've revamped the internal area with a LED lithium ion power supply unit where you can plug it into the wall and have it stationary wherever you'd like it and use it. Or as you can see here, we don't have it plugged in at all, but we're running off the lithium ion battery inside. And you can still see all the actual carbon arcs, the, all the internals, all the mechanisms, everything that they used to use back in the day. It is actually quite a showstopper. Everything's fully functional. It's got the big brass bezel on it to where you can go in and actually access the carbons the way you used to have to do to adjust things. But now we'll just run on DC power supply and it'll stay on just off battery alone, eight to 10 hours. It's fully articulating and we mounted the power supply inside the bottom of the base and we use the same rotary contacts that they used back in the day. So you can't rotate this thing around completely 360 degrees without wondering why the wire inside that's running this is not getting twisted up because it's actually a brush contact. The Carlisle and Finch Company is the one that invented this spotlight. They actually invented the first carbon arc searchlight in the late 1800s and they're still in business today. They were traditionally used for the maritime industry but also for the war effort to spot fighter planes and enemy as well as theaters, airports, prisons, any high security installation. Um, these guys are the kings of that industry. These are the sight windows that actually have a welding glass in them to where the operator could stand up and view it without burning his eyeballs out because it's about 600 million candle power when it's in full operation. It's also welded to a, a complete base which is on wheels and you can access the power supply or anything like that via a door down on the bottom. It's quite a unique piece, all original and really an awesome showstopper of how they used to do things back in the day. Great for anyone with a home theater system or somebody that needs some kind of a cool prop or light. It's quite a conversation piece. Ideas you can touch at Louis Tozier Design.